at some point, we've all had somebody on our stream or in our broadcasts, in our recordings, and they didn't sound so good. Maybe that's been you on someone else's stream. So I'm going to go over the individual settings through Windows and Discord that you want to get set up properly so that you all can sound great. The first thing that we want to do is go into the Windows sound settings. The easiest way to get there is to right click on the speaker icon and click on sounds. Once you do that, this sounds window will open and you can click over to the recording tab and find your microphone. In my case, I am using this Behringer in sound card. What you'd want to do is find your microphone sound card. Usually it's the one with the most active signal. If you have a webcam or something like that, it may also be picking up audio. But look for your microphone input, right click on it, and go into the properties. My first suggestion is to actually name the sound card properly. This way you can find it easier in other programs like Discord. In this case, I've labeled mine Behringer In. The next thing you want to do is go to the Levels tab. The Levels tab settings is going to be highly dependent on the kind of interface, soundboard, whatever you're using. Most of the time, this setting is what's going to affect your initial noise level. If I go above 81 on this, I get a nice, healthy, loud signal, but there's a ton of white noise with it. This is also true of soundboards. It's actually very rare when you find a USB device that can go above, say, 75 and still sound pretty good. I suggest you start at around 75, and if that has too much white noise when you're listening to it, then you know you can turn this down. You need to find the right balance between your mic's actual gain through your interface and the Windows level itself. Setting the gain at the mic is always going to be slightly cleaner than turning up the USB device. There is a few exceptions where the Q2U has a fantastic noise to gain ratio on the window side. You can bump this all the way up to 100 for the Q2U and it's not a problem. Almost no noise whatsoever. So this is the first setting. I would say set this at 75. If you still have a ton of white noise, you need to turn down this level to between 50 and 75 and you need to find that right noise to gain ratio. The next thing you want to do is go into the advanced settings and try to set this to the highest quality possible of 48,000. If this has a 24-bit, then set it to 24-bit. If it's only 16-bit like mine, then set it to 16-bit. But you want this set to 48. You do not want to go above 48 because most programs are going to, most programs are looking for a 48 thousand connection here the only there are some exceptions to this and if you're using a lot of different different audio programs then you should know what you're doing when you set this stuff up i'm using two channel because i have both a left and right connection hooked up to my interface uh, it can be safer to set this to one channel in some circumstances for instance if people are having trouble hearing you in Sea of Thieves, you may want to set this to one channel. You also want to uncheck allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. This isn't a perfect solution. Sometimes applications will still take over and change things, but it's a good idea to uncheck this box. Once you've done that, hit apply and hit OK. And your microphone may not be working in Discord at this point. Now the settings that you've made in Windows may have caused a disconnect between Discord and your microphone. If you set your input device to what you've labeled it in Windows and you hit let's check and you're not hearing anything in your headphones, you may need to restart Discord to get the connection between Windows and Discord back. The easiest way to do that is to hit Control R. So now that you're in your video and voice settings and your microphone is working, you see it on the meter or you hear it in your headphones when you hit this, what we want to do now is you want to uncheck all the automatic stuff so that we can get the most pure sound possible to begin and then we can turn things on to clean them up. So the first thing we want to do is scroll all the way down and turn off these four options. Turn off automatic gain control, turn off advanced voice activity. If this is grayed out, don't worry about it for now, that's from another setting. Turn off noise reduction and turn off echo cancellation. So the first thing you want to do is turn off echo cancellation, noise reduction, and auto gain control, and advanced voice activity if you can. 
And you need to turn off automatically determine input sensitivity. So we're going to turn this off. And the default should be negative 60 dB. So if this was already off and you've moved this, you want to set this to negative 60 dB. This will give you a good idea of noise to voice ratio for where your microphone is at. If your microphone is too hot, your noise will be triggering your microphone at negative 60 dB. That means your room noise and everything else in the background is a little bit too loud. So you need to adjust either your Windows input volume or your mic gain itself. If your Windows input volume is good and you don't have a lot of white noise and it's at a hefty volume, somewhere between 50 and 75, or 100 if you're on the Q2U or a really clean audio interface that has no white noise, then you know you need to turn your mic gain down. So if I turn my microphone up, even all the way, it has a really hard time. Even when it's all the way up, I have a hard time getting the noise to go above the meter. Try to make sure your room noise is below negative 60 and your voice is triggering over the 60 mark. The next thing you want to do is hit let's check. And you don't want to do this with speakers. You need to do this with headphones. That way you don't get a weird echo and all kinds of craziness. You put headphones on, you hit let's check, and you listen to your voice in Discord. This is the best way for you to figure out how you sound on someone else's stream. If this is distorting, then you know your Windows volume or your mic gain is too high. If this is too quiet and you can barely hear yourself, and you're not getting up into the green when you're talking, you know that your mic is too quiet. If I turn my microphone down signal to Discord, I'm not quite hitting the green now and I'm barely going over. So my mic's a little bit too quiet. Yellow's bad, there's almost no signal now and I'm not able to get over that negative 60 mark in Discord. If I turn my mic up to the volume that I know it sounds good for other people and it sounds good in Discord to my ears, I'm hitting that green. I have plenty of headroom if I get really loud or some for some reason my, my Windows volume gets bumped up. You still have a lot of volume here to work with. So I highly recommend you listen to your microphone, especially if you're going to be on a podcast or on a stream with someone else. Double check this. Make sure you're not distorting and make sure your mic sounds good. The next thing you want to do is scroll down and we're going to talk about these voice processing options. Echo cancellation is meant for if you're using speakers. Now, the reason you don't want to have this on for the most part is you want to use headphones if you're going to be on a podcast or a show with other people and you don't want their voice to be feeding back through your microphone. If your microphone is extra sensitive and it's even being picked up through your headphones, let's say you have very loud headphones, open ear, and you've got a very sensitive condenser microphone and it's pulling people's voices back through, you can turn on echo cancellation, but echo cancellation is going to make it so that if someone else speaks, your microphone gets cut off in Discord. So if other people talk while you're talking, you get muted, basically. This makes it so that your microphone is not active while other people speak. So you're going to get cut off more often. Your microphone's going to be cutting in and out if people are talking and you can't get a word in. And if people are talking over you all the time, it might be because you have this echo cancellation thing turned on. It just makes it sound like you're not talking anymore. So noise reduction can be good and it can be helpful. I would suggest maybe trying the noise suppression uh, first if you have a lot of background noise. This is going to make it harder for you to share things on your microphone if you want to share music or play guitar or something. It's going to just like not come through Discord at all. So noise suppression can be a helpful technology if you have a really noisy background and you need to help cut that down. But again, the best thing to do is to get your mic gain set so that mostly just your voice is being picked up. This is not a great solution if you've got fans and a lo loud air conditioner, things like that. This is more for TV noises in the background, lawn mowers, things like that. This noise reduction, I wouldn't put this on and this, the noise suppression on together. You're going to be overkill at that point. I would just use one or the other and find the one that works best. But again, the, the goal here is to not use these at all. And the last thing is you never, ever, ever want to use automatic gain control unless you have the quietest 
microphone on the planet, like a headset mic that just cannot get enough gain in Windows for anybody to hear you. Everybody says, you're just so quiet. You're too quiet. We can't hear you. You got to turn this on. But if you have a good microphone, you have a good audio interface, you're using the Q2U, you're, good, you're using a soundboard, you've got a good setup, you never want this checked. Because then what's going to happen is it's going to overcompensate and crush your voice down. The algorithm on this is really harsh. And what it can do is take somebody with a good microphone and a good setup and make them extremely quiet. And no matter how much people turn you up, they will still not be able to hear you. The best thing you could possibly do is never, ever use automatic gain control. If you have to use automatic gain control, it means something is wrong with your setup. You should be using a better microphone. Invest in a Samsung Q2U and never use automatic gain control. And that's it. So if you wanted a quick summary of all the most important things, make sure you've set your microphone to the proper microphone. Your output device is typically going to be set to default, though if you want to make sure it's always being sent to the exact same sound card, you, you can set this here. Your input volume should be at 100 in Discord. You don't want to cut this down. This is not a good way to adjust your microphone. Your output volume should be at 100. You shouldn't have to boost this ever. You can turn people up individually, but this is a terrible way to increase the volume of Discord to your headphones or to your mixer because somebody's going to come in with the right settings like me and they're going to be super loud if you set this over to over 100. You're going to be messing up your mix and you're not going to be able to keep track. Leave your output volume at 100. Leave your input volume at 100. Use the test. Always test your microphone. If it doesn't sound good, you know you need to make changes. If you're using voice activity, do not set automatically determined input sensitivity. You want this at negative 60 dB so that you can see that your voice is loud enough and your noise level is well below. Your voice only triggers when it goes over this notch. So make sure your noise level is below the notch and your voice is above the notch. Noise suppression is okay, but you only need to use it as a last resort because you can't control your neighborhood, your neighbors, your family, TVs, things like that. Echo cancellation is not a good idea. This is for more of an expert level setting. If you turn this on, people are going to be talking over you and your microphone is going to be turning off. Noise reduction, you want to mostly stay away from. Automatic gain control is a big no-go. Do not use it. Do not use it. Get a better microphone. So if you know somebody that just is too quiet or too loud and their mic sounds bad in Discord, send them this video. And if somebody sent you this video, if you found this video helpful and it made you sound better on other people's streams or in podcasts or it helped you get your friend's microphone sounding better, hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.